Hello, my beautiful Aries, and welcome to my channel, Green Line Goddess. Now, we have rain, we have a storm. I think the thunder has passed, but we have minor flooding where I am at the moment. We've had a crazy old year. We've had a drought, we've had bushfires, and now we've got flooding. So, but I think you know, where I am is up on a hill. I'm looking down at the floodplains where the river hasn't been coping. And I might get cut off for a day or two, but I've got lots of food. And it's actually just really nice to hear the rain. So well, I just want to tune in to you guys, Aries, for a second with this cheetah that's come up for you. I was just shuffling and it came up and I'm like, that is Aries. It's the fire card. It is Aries determination coming through. You want something. You set a goal. You're going to get it. You've really set your mind to something this fortnight. And just got that Aries like determination. I'm just going to hold it up. Cheetah. And things are going to move quite fast. I think you're going to be able to be quite flexible in your movements, in your thinking, in your maneuvering. So, Aries, I think that there is a goal that is. There's a, an achievement. There's a goal to be achieved. There's, oh, gosh, I just dropped a card and it landed on my dog who was quite surprised. So we have Nightingale as a supporting energy, finding your voice, speaking your truth, telling the world what who you are and what you're made of. Now, this might just be something you're dreaming of as well at this stage because it's a Nightingale that's occurring at night. This is something that is happening, it might happen in your dreams or it might be happening on a subconscious level that's coming up for you and it's something that's going to really motivate you. It's, you know, this sense that there's something within you that needs to be expressed, something beautiful that needs to be expressed, that needs to come out. And so that's what that cheetah energy is. It's really wanting to, to connect to that and to work out what it is and to be able to actually manifest fest that into the world. So what else have we got for Aries? What else have we got for Aries? What are some of the challenges around this? <laughs> challenges and opportunities, Aries, when it comes to really expressing your truth in the world or to a person. It, this could be all around a person that you like and actually telling them that you love them or that you like them. Because the cheetah is chasing the, the bird. It might also be that you're chasing, you're really looking for something. You're really chasing something here. So the bird, the nightingale is often like uh, messages from spirit as well. So it could be that you're really looking for a sign, a signal that something is right. A synchronicity. moth upside down challenge to connect to spirit to be able to take the time to connect in and get that information and that moment of inspiration that you need to make this happen and the opportunity as well is that I think that you'll find this in unusual places it won't be in the usual spot where you think that you need to be going in to connect because this is an upside down card, you know, it's gone from an air, the element of air to the element of earth. So instead of finding it actually in well, the areas that you might consider spirit, it's saying you're probably going to find this in your world, in your reality, in your 3D physical world. You might find it at home. You might find it in your office place, you're going to find it in that space, not necessarily out when you might be meditating or going for a walk or whatever it is that you going to prayer, whatever it is, wherever you connect to spirit, you're going to find this in an unlikely place. So that's a challenge and an opportunity, Aries. When we have moth upside down. So let's look at love for you, Aries. Let's look at love. 
Let's look at love for Aries. What is coming up? I feel like that cheetah like, is very connected to somebody that you really like as well. So let's find out what have we got for Aries. Oh, two cards have come out. Buffalo upside down and dragon. Okay, so, mm, interestingly, interesting. You're seeing somebody, but they're not necessarily what you think they are. Maybe you're seeing them as something they're not. You're seeing, you're connecting with them intellectually. Because again, interestingly, the element of earth and the element of air, there's something to do with, you know, like this has now been flipped up and it's no, no longer an earth sign, it's turned into air, whereas the moth was the opposite. It flipped from air to earth. There's something around you flipping between what you're thinking in your mind and the reality of the situation. And you're sort of flip it, flitting from one to the other. And it's just trying to make sense of, who this person is because the buffalo is actually very different there oh, we'll turn it upside down this is what the buffalo looks like in real life they're very grounded but I think your idea of them sorry I can't get the cards right your idea of them you're not quite seeing them but it doesn't I don't think it matters to be honest because the other way around hmm the buffalo's not looking at you, whereas this way they are looking at you. So you're kind of seeing that they're interested in you. But maybe they're looking the other way. Maybe they're not. Or maybe it's the opposite that someone's interested in you and you're not interested in them. There's someone that you like that perhaps they haven't noticed you yet or they're, look, they're kind of looking at somebody else. They're not. It's a big thing about the dragons looking right at you, but the buffalo is looking at the different direction. It's, it's kind of they're not looking eye to eye. They're not looking at each other. They're not quite connected yet. Not seeing eye to eye. So the energies are a bit disparate. They're kind of going opposite ways. But it's not saying that it's not possible. They're both big creatures, the dragon and the buffalo. So there's a compatibility here. But it's just like you haven't quite connected. Now, if you're in a relationship, this could just be that you're trying to work out what's going on with your partner. Maybe they're just behaving slightly differently or you sense something's a bit different there you're trying to work out what's going on with them and I just feel like this isn't a, a huge rupture or anything to worry about I just feel like this is something that they just kind of need to go down their little they need their space they need their independence just for a little bit to explore an avenue of whatever it is that they want to be doing so yeah it's interesting. It's an interesting little, not that way, this way. It's an interesting hmm, little conundrum that's happening here. Trying to really understand what's going on in the dynamic of a relationship. So let's look at career, Aries. Let's look at career. What have we got for Aries? Ah, the wolf. Yes. Yes. Career-wise, things are looking good. I see leadership. I see you leading a team. I see intuitively making some very instinctual choices about which direction to head and leading people down in the right direction. I see you're a good a person that people will follow. So being in a doesn't necessarily mean that you're in a leadership position. You might be, but even if you're not, people will listen to you and follow you. You're looking out for other members of the pack with this wolf energy. 
So I feel like you're a really valued member of the team, whether you know it or not. Other people look up to you. Other people respect you. And other people turn to you for guidance. So I think you'll really notice that, Aries, this fortnight. I think you'll really notice that someone might, people are going to be needing you. They're going to be needing your help in the career front. And you're going to like that. It's going to make you feel good. It's going to, going to go down really well with you. Let's pull in. Uh, so we're going to pull some supporting cards from the Rider Waits. Let's pull a supporting card for that for the wolf and see what we end up with. Supporting card for wolf for Aries. Ah, temperance. Yeah, I think that you just, that's kind of the feeling I was getting. You're able to calm a situation down or a group of people down, being able to keep the balance amongst rising tempers or agendas. You're definitely keeping the workplace or the people that you're working with in harmony and making sure everyone's working well together. And so that's this sense that will be happening, that if there has been some sort of disruptions, there will be harmony, will be restored to a workplace, which is which is great, which is good to hear and see. Cheetah, let's get a supporting card for that. The goal that you're heading towards or the person, something you're really got your eye on and you're like, I want that, I want it, I want it, I want it. What is it? What supporting energy do we have around that? Ah, the King of Wands, another fire energy. So this could be it could be around a fire, another fire sign as well. But look at that, they're both looking in the same direction, looking out. The King of Wands knows what he wants, he knows how to get it. He's got a vision, he's got a strategy, he's the creative leader. So the King of Wands, coupled with the cheetah, you will get what it is that you're after here, Aries. Definitely, without a doubt. Now the Nightingale, finding your truth or expressing yourself to this person or maybe this is the person, they could be a singer or like I said, an air sign that you actually really wanting or some sort of platform to be able to express yourself it could be a creative project where you're writing whatever it is let's get a supporting card for that the four of cups now here's an opportunity this person or this person is bored and they're looking for a bit of excitement and adventure. And so I think that what's previously been on offer for them, there, there might be offers or deals or something on the table for them that hasn't, or people that have kind of, you know, tried to hook up with them for whatever reason, and they've just kind of gone, ah, oh, no thanks. And that's why there's a window of opportunity, Aries, because this is exciting. This is you coming in. This is going to get this nightingale excited, this energy of the cheetah and the king of wands. So there's a hole in the market. There's an opportunity here. Okay, whatever, however you want to see it, whether it's a business thing or a person thing or an expression thing it's like breaking through previously what's been on offer hasn't been great and with this new energy coming through it's going to be 10 gazillion times better than what has been previously there and it's almost like there's no way this person or opportunity are going to say no <laughs> to you okay so that's really really positive 
So moth upside down, challenges and opportunities. Finding inspiration in the strangest places. And I just saw, I thought I saw a card that was the wrong way up, which is the right card. Let me see if I can find it. Speaking of cards in the strangest places, perhaps I was seeing things. Ah, no, I wasn't. The Empress. <laughs> yep, the Empress. Now, this is abundance. So it's saying, yeah, you will find it. And when you do find it, it's going to lead to success. It's going to lead to some really amazing stuff coming in for you, Aries. Really, really positive stuff with the Empress coming through. Could actually be fertility, could be pregnancy and kids, but more money coming in, more success opportunities. Definitely there's this could actually be the person that you're looking for, this beautiful empress. And this is actually could be where you're finding the opportunity. This because the threes and the empress is all about manifestation. So there could be a very strong, even Cancerian woman or very strong woman that can help you get to where you want to get to or will help you get that message or spirit message. But either way, this is all leading to success and abundance. And so when you do get that message from that moth, find ways to manifest. It will help. It'll be a way to help you manifest. I won't be able to hold that and shuffle at the same time but some cards for buffalo and dragon it will be a clue a key how to manifest and make this happen that information with the moth and the empress coming through so cards for dragon and buffalo this relationship that is a bit topsy-turvy not quite connected don't quite see eye to eye but it's not necessarily meaning you can't in the future so it just means let's have a look supporting card yeah another three another three so two threes manifestation ships coming in allowing people to again it was that sense of independence that three of wands this is the young emperor here so with that dragon energy looking at the buffalo and supported by this three of wands, I was saying that this buffalo might just need their space or independence to actually go out and do their thing for a while. And you're kind of like, why do they want to do that? When the ships go out, the ships will come back in. The person will come back. It's important to give them space and independence. So don't push this, Aries, is kind of what the, the message is, is that even if it looks like they're interested in someone else for a while, if you're not in a relationship, then they might have a little, they'll come back to you. Okay. So I feel like it's just a, it's just letting them go through their process, whatever it is. Now, I'm not saying this is saying someone's having an affair because I feel very strongly it's more around independence for a couple. I feel not that they're going off and playing with someone else. They just need to, it might be, I need some time to go right on a, certain day or I need to go to the movies by myself I just need my own space it might just be or I need to go work in a different city for a while there's something about just having distance here could be a long distance relationship we're talking about here so but whatever it is I feel it will work if you give them their space and independence and autonomy so I hope that makes sense, Aries. That's it. If you'd like to hear more, please like, subscribe or leave a comment. Otherwise, take care and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.